Hello everyone! Welcome back to Leilandi Adventures, to our new series Leilandi in Casa, where we're going to show you hints, tricks and hacks to make you a better traveler. Today we're dealing with bagging and we're going to be showing you tricks, hints and hacks of how to manage your packing if you have just one bag and to avoid unnecessary things those are the tricks that I use trick number one is the most important thing that is choosing the right bag I recommend a flexible bag the one that I'm using is this one um, I got it in a vintage shop Johnny has a, a similar one like from the army it's very hard, it's waterproof here with lots of pockets and the good thing about this kind of bag is that it's a backpack, it lets you be hands-free, you're comfy all the time and you're very fast in stations and airports where people is going with those trolleys and they are super slow. So with this one you're going to be fast, comfy and hands-free. I will leave below some links of similar bags but the best thing to do is go on vintage shops, markets and stuff because they usually have these ones. So if you live in Madrid, I know that in El Rastro they sell them, like in the center of the Rastro. Trick number two is choose your clothes wisely. What we recommend is use plain colors that you can combine with each other. Look at the weather, that's super important because if not you're going to be taking things for all weather that you're not going to use. Go minimal and accessorize. Accessories take usually less space than the actual clothes. Trick number three is how you fold your clothes. Some people roll them, some people put them in squares. Find the right shape. In my case, what I do is have them like in squares like this and that way I can find the right places inside my bag. That's why I said a flexible one is going to be better. What I do is I put at the bottom of my bag bottom parts like jeans, skirts, then on the right side I put my t-shirts and in the left side I put my, my jumpers and all those things. Then I have shoes and then I have the most important things that I need to be handy with them. This is the way that I keep my bag organized all the time and I know where is everything and everything is in place and super bad. Trick number four, where are the biggest items of clothes? If you have thick jumpers, wear them. If you have a coat, wear it. If you have a scarf, wear it too because they are going to take unnecessary space on your bag. Trick number five, this is something that I use a lot and maybe it's more for girls but Maybe you guys can use it too. The one that I'm using is this one. I like having a nice one for going out and everything, but I want it to be comfy too. So what I do is I turn this bag into a backpack. I have two ways of doing it and I'm going to show you. The first of all is I, um, you have this big strap. I add another one from another purse. I click them and I put them like this so it looks like a, like a backpack. And the other way of doing this is you take this strap, you put this under the handies like this, put it again, and this is the other way of having another backpack. It's very, very comfy. I usually use this all the time. You can see my pictures that I have something weird in my back. Is that <laughs> trick number six? Nowadays we have to travel with cameras, with phones, an electronic book, whatever you have and I'm sure you're carrying lots of wires. They get very messy, sometimes they break because of that so I recommend to store it in, in those spec cases. For example, this is where I have my phone charger, everything is in place, never leaves here, it's waterproof and it's easier to find them. Trick number seven is about the liquids. If you travel by plane it's even more important because you're not allowed to take things like this. My first recommendation is to use solid formats. Uh, for example I have this that is a facial soap, this is the a con hair conditioning and this is a perfume. They are eco-friendly, easier to storage, you avoid problems in the air controls. I will leave some links below of or this one, but you can find them in Lash and lots of shops are starting to sell in this. 
The second option of your liquids is try to have those miniatures of your favorite products because they take less space than the actual product. And my third option is a bit more DIY, is using these contact lens cases and put your cream inside. Super tiny and this is a good amount for a travel. Trick number eight, use a transparent bag for all your important documents. It's easy to see everything, it's not that easy to lose them and with just one look you know that everything is in there. Something like this would be very handy because you can see all your documents with just one side. You don't lose them because they are all together and they don't get wet. I use this kind of freezing bag, but I have this one too that is black background. So I see everything in here very easy. And another option, this is not waterproof but it's lovely. It's handmade, it was a gift and I can have all my things in here and they never get lost. Trick number nine, if you're like me and you like having notes during your trip and drawings and stuff, I recommend you to have this kind of notebook. Uh, this one is leather, I made it myself. If you want to know how I did it, a thumbs up and give me a commentary so I know that you want to know how to do it. And what I do with this one is I exchange this um, little notebooks so I can have lots of them and I don't need to carry lots of heavy notebooks I can exchange them all the time those were our tricks that we use when traveling if you like them thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet if you have other tricks that I didn't mention in this video I would like to know uh, give us a commentary so we can try them and you're more than welcome to share this video if you like it and see you next Thursday. Bye!